is who I am. Yeah. I used to think that's who I was too until I met Sebastian. You know. Euphoria is filled with really complex and layered characters, but the show's writer hasn't always capitalized off of their potential. Okay. With the final episode of season two of Euphoria finally out, it's fair to say that most fans are left wanting more with the ending. This also goes for the many wonderful side characters that have made the series so great in the past. Dice these tomatoes. While the series continues to embrace difficult topics and the harsh realities of addiction in realistic and emotional ways, the show's creator, Sam Levinson, did have to make a few changes to tell this story in a responsible manner, which ultimately meant there were some characters that didn't get as much development. With the show renewed for a season three, there's a chance that some of these characters will get a bit more screen time in the future. <laughs> I didn't either. Ethan, Ethan has his moment in the limelight with Lexi's play at the end of the season, but audiences never really get to see how he deals with his breakup and what is next for him. He had such a great arc in the first season that fell off along with Kat's story this season. He may be more of a smaller side character, but he definitely needed another scene where he got to emotionally unload like some of the other characters got the opportunity to do. Hopefully, his story will be more prominent in some later episodes. Elliot, Elliot is a new character this season, but his history and emotional state remains ambiguous, even by the end. He has his fling with Jules, never tells Rue, and is seen misusing drugs, although the audiences are never given a reason for why he does all of this. His song also said nothing about him as a character beyond the fact, that he has a bond with Rue that he can't deny. He just lacks a meaningful arc and a background that makes him more layered of a character. Gia gets some small moments in the series as a whole, but when she promises to tell Rue more about her life or her mom tells Rue that Gia is failing, there is nothing else said about her character to show that she's doing better. Not to mention, Gia is one of the people that Rue cares about the most, but there isn't a moment written in where she shows her this in a tangible way. Gia isn't wrapped up in most of the high school drama in Euphoria, but she's important to the lead, so she needs more screen time. This is your fucking fault! Samantha, Samantha is the woman that Maddie babysits for, and while there is certainly a sort of mentor-mentee relationship going on, nothing else is really explained about her. She records Maddie trying on her clothes and gifts her with a dress, but it's difficult to tell if she truly likes Maddie or is planning something more sinister. While Sam Levinson sees Samantha as more of an older version of Maddie via Vanity Fair, they have the weirdest interactions that make fans think there is more to this story. She was given all the elements to be a well-developed character, but she was never given the space to show who she is. Chris McKay has a tragic past and was Cassie's boyfriend in season one. He was present in basically every episode, but he had only seconds of time on the screen in the show's newest season. Although it does make sense with him being a college student, he should have made a little more impact. McKay is in the house party in the first episode of season two, but he would have added even more. McKay is in the house party in the first episode of season two, but he would have added even more drama to the moment when Maddie found out that Cassie and Nate hooked up. He would have definitely fought with Nate. Coming in mouth. Whoa, Joe, you coming in her belly? 